to the Train Shop Weekly. I'm Bill Henning. I'm Harry That's Henning. Harry. I'm Walt Herbine. That's Walt. And thanks for joining us for the Train Shop Weekly or Train Shop Whenever, uh, when we get around to it. Um, if you enjoy the show, please hit like, hit reply, or subscribe. Tell your friends and just enjoy your, enjoy your time with us. Come visit us. Yeah, stop in, say hi. <clears throat> yep. So, um, basically we're here to talk about what's new, what came in this past week. Um, past two weeks and how we've been or what we've been doing what we've been up to So what have you been up to <laughs> I'm going canoeing going canoeing coming up with the scouts going canoeing with the scouts so. I had water up helping me out with a flood situation I thought we were gonna lose the railroad uh -oh. the uh, one of the toilet pipes broke I should say that what was it that went well the valve, valve was leaking. Maybe you're eating too much crap. <laughs> yep, and just the old valve gets you every time. Yeah, spent my day uh, cleaning that all up. <clears throat> but it is what it is. Hey, lesson number one: you have a railroad, watch the pipes above your railroad. You never know what'll happen. That's for sure. What kind of books you got over there, William? The um, I read several several of the monthly magazines came in. Uh, one of my favorites is it's kind of like a quarterly, the uh, classic trains. Yeah, you know, that always Any has good some, articles in there. Yeah, it's got a few good articles. <coughs> talk about the Southern California, um, some rail action, but it has a good article on the Pencil, uh, Pennsylvania article, I think 1946. But it always has some interesting stuff. But it's it's typically. Uh, most of the articles you like 40s, 50s era, older era, so it's a neat this, nostalgic uh, train road trip. This one's from Model Railroader, it's Model Railroading, and uh, this one's got some interesting articles in it as well. There's a bunch of tips on uh, little techniques for detail in your layout, uh, one on if you're Excuse doing me. styrene. Uh, models that were ones uh what the heck do you call that uh i have no clue what the heck you call it um, what the heck i, you call I it? know that i uh, i'm tongue tied it's almost, tied. There. It's, it's almost there. tongue tied right now this okay. is this is their and they do this every year they're you know the ultimate the ultimate guide so this is a 2020 Re on resin kits okay that's what i was trying to get out of my mouth mm -hmm. but they got a whole thing on resin kits and uh different techniques on how to build a resin kit versus a plastic kit. The do's and don'ts, uh, so to say. Mm. Which I thought this was pretty interesting. It had some nice stuff in it. There's a couple uh, modular layouts. One of them, I couldn't believe all the catenary the guy has on the layout. It's just on the reel. But that's a neat one to Yeah, catenary takes some, what do you call it? You got some patience. But for a module, that is really neat. Uh, and this is a model router, part of combat series. Um, More freight cars. Commod yeah, commodities of freight cars. It kind of tells you the, the history of, of some freight cars, how they're designed through the years. Um, it's interesting. It kind of breaks down each chapter uh, on different types of cars, grain cars, chlorine cars, like chapter three's lumber cars, cement cars, coal cars, Considering parts. some of them, they were all in box cars at one time and then Frozen became food specialty cars. cars. Yeah, it kind of kind of shows you how how they developed through the years, yep. you know, the designs and stuff. How they came from a basic car to a specialty car, but a lot of interesting stuff in there. If you like, if you're into freight cars or detailed freight cars or you know, want them for particular uses, it's pretty. It's an interesting read. What else we got? What's new as far as stuff trains, came in? Uh, we got. Let's some. start out with the smallest. We got some Atlas uh, N-Gage uh, covered hoppers. Um, we got four different ones. What uh, road names? We got know. Chicago uh, Trinity. We got two Trinities, two different road numbers. I'm That's sorry, they're Trinity covered hoppers. Blah. Uh, one Chicago free. Can we pass one over here so we can see what they look like? Yeah, I have one. They, they, they come in a whole bunch of different rooms. This is just what he grabbed off the shelf. Yeah. Um, but this is their Master Plus line, which is I guess like their more, top of the line. A little more, little more 
detailed. It's got, it's got extra, if you see on the bottom, it's got some extra detail, detail underneath and oh, such. Pretty cool. Yeah, nice so looking I, got, I got some blue, blue um, roller bearings painted blue. And got, they, I like this one, Rogue, Roanoke Cement. Yeah. Roanoke Cement. Like I say they have different levels. Oh, yeah, and this look is how their, detailed that look. For yeah. a little guy, look how detailed that little detailed pipes. This is their master plus line. Now. Well, I'm glad I never got in the end gauge. Holy cow, could I have one heck of a Yeah, railroad. it's like a difference between their 25 hour car versus their 45 hour car or something. But you see, it has a lot of extra detail to it. Oh, yeah, the detail is that's the thing today. Yep. Yeah. So for all yeah, neat. It got all the filling pipes on the bottom, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, that's not surprising. Yeah. Anything about it, that looks like just a car that parts are just going to break off. <laughs> but, but it's like um, Atheron and Roundhouse, like they have different mm -hmm. levels. Lionel, MTH, you know, they have different levels. Yeah. The Premier versus the Rail King. <laughs> Lionel's traditional or their scale. I see you got some cars you're hoarding over there. That, oh uh, yeah, Bill's would be more up your line. Uh, yeah, Bachman. Then yeah, we got they got three new uh, Boy Scout cars. They have a Boy Scout caboose, a hopper car, pretty cool, and a box car. Especially for those that collect the Boy Scout stuff. I remember a few years ago, Lionel did Boy Scouts. Yeah, and they had some nice. They had, they some, had some nice, nice cars. Well, it's not really Boy Scouts anymore. No, it's BSA Scouts, they call it. BSA Scouts. So what's that stand for? Well, it stands for Boy Scouts of America, but they just use the initials because because they do allow uh, girls in the Scouts now. Oh, but yet yeah, boys aren't in the Girl Scouts. Yeah, Girl Scouts, they didn't want no part of it. Well, the Boy Scouts that makes the, no sense. The Boy Scouts try to reach out and, and merge, which would have made sense, but the Girl Scouts said no, so the Boy Scouts said, well, then heck with you, we'll just... Uh, which, it's actually... Um, the rest of the world, it's all co-ed. The U.S. was like one of the last ones to to become a both mm. girl and females. Really? Yep. Interesting. But the rest, but, of, rest of the world is all. But the know, Girl Scouts are the last of any to. Yeah. Yeah, I, I you know, it probably would have been better if they were able to merge and you know, yeah, exactly. form one real solid um, organization. But I mean, the Boy Scouts are doing well. They've had some issues, but. They're recovering. They filed for bankruptcy. They just got out of that, you know. So they're they're making uh, good roads. I mean, I talk about the Boy Scouts all the time. So obviously, I'm a fan of them. So <laughs> it is it is a a good program, a good organization. So unfortunately, a few bad yeah. apples in yeah. years past. In the past. Yeah, I mean, it gives good good values. It does. It does. You know, and when I remember when I we were kids in Scouts. I mean, we did some, we, we had some experiences, you know, um, I never would have went water skiing or horseback riding. And Canoeing for down. It, for one for scouts. Yep. Yeah, so, I mean, it allows a lot of, a lot of boys and, and girls now the opportunity to do things they otherwise wouldn't have been able to do, so. All anyway, right, what do we got on. next over there? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Oh, uh, yeah. The yeah. long-awaited one type of Strasburg. Oh, uh, yeah. Number ah. 89. Number 89 has 89. arrived. 89 has arrived. And you have 89 Canadian National. Yeah, Canadian National. The Strasburg is one of the Strasburg versions. versions. Yeah, two, different, two different versions. The, the 2000s version like this, and then was the other 1970s version? 1970s version, which uh, we'll show you on the layout. It's mine, which uh, I've already done slight modifications to it. Oh, but. man. Yeah, I, you know me. I took it home and did my thing to it. You're supposed to show it like right out of the box, you know? This is yeah, the well, the this is right out of the box. Yeah, it's right out of the box. But and mine, I, I put the KDs on it. I changed it to an engineer that's actually waving to the passenger cars as they go by. <laughs> you know, a few little things. Well, the guy's focusing, concentrating on running the train. He's not worried yeah, about it. That's it, it, a Canadian National one. The Canadian National one's called. Cool. So, you always see them waving. Watch some of the videos as they pass by. They're waving. So is this how it was when the Strasburg originally got the engine? I I don't know. I'm not a Strasburger. Well, they ran it that way for a couple of years before they put the Strasburg logo. This seems like Canadian National just didn't scrap their engines as fast as us American railroads did. Mm. Is that it? 
Yeah. Well, I mean, there's, there's a lot, lot of Canadian national steamer steamers, around. Steamers, yeah. steamers around. But anyway, yeah, they ran it a couple up. of years. These lights up front here. Yep. That's uh, their, see, their marker, marker lights. lights. Are different. Marker lights are different. And then on the the seventy ninety that I have, the headlights up top. It's not down. Let me grab that a second. The headlights up high, and uh, you got the egg on the tender instead of the square logo they use today. I wonder why they changed it. I mean, that's how it used to be. Yeah, that's how it used to be in the 70s. Hmm. Wonder, what, wonder what, why they changed. I guess because they went back to the Canadian national version of what it was to, you know. So what they originally put up there, I guess, was more American traditional. More maybe? American traditional. You know, like the Pennsylvania railroads and the Reading and so forth. But uh, then they brought it back to its tradition when they painted Canadian National version back again. Then they went to the. So these are a, a full legacy system. Yep. Um, I've heard good things about. It. I haven't really heard anything negative about. I've it. only heard one thing negative is they. Some of them have too large of a traction tire on it, and they picked a switch on fast track. And uh, they actually ride up on the switch if you don't uh, put the smaller traction tire on. Hmm. So you have to tighten up the traction tire so that this front traction tire doesn't allow the wheel to pick the switch. That's nice. It's got three pickups. Three pickups on it and two on the tender. And two on the tender, so you shouldn't, shouldn't stall out, huh? Nope. No. It's a short, looks like a short tender. Uh, well, the two are for the sound. I, I'm, the everybody's excited about the Strasburg. I, I did those. Well, I brought some of the cars. Why don't we give it a run? All right, let's see what it sounds like. Okay. Train one break, man. Let's get an application for continuity test. Good application. Okay to release. Train one break, man. We have good set, good release, good continuity on timetable train number one. Over. Uh, that's a roger. Good set, good release, good continuity on timetable train number one. Out. Engine to tower. We're all made up. Am I clear? Outbound. Over. Please hold at your location. Out.
Engine to dispatcher. Snifters are closed and chocks are in. We're off to sign the register book. Out. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it runs good. Sounds good. Yeah. I, nice. I did add, like I say, we did make some changes on this. You can see that we added the uh, the engineer. We changed him. We put a... Uh, deck on the back between the engine and the fender and then we put the KDs on and uh, they have a mount that comes with the KD we have for the KDs for the engine but what you have to do is you have to drill it and tap it so you know for the plate for the KDs okay. and then you have to put a piece of plastic into uh, fill in the hole on the tender. If you get one tender there, you'll kind of see some of the modifications. So we can compare the two. I actually turned the truck completely around so that it clears the KD couplers. Did you fill in that? Yeah, I filled in that little square, square there. Gap there. Yep. Some little engine black and it's not really noticeable. But it allows me to run the KD couplers on the on this set. I wanted one one engine one set that has KDs and it's my Strasburg pieces. That's all that's getting KDs on them. Walt did with the uh, video running behind us of videos of the '89. Uh, Walt had noticed the uh, tender the headlight. Head light. Yeah, the, head the, light. the tender tender light is not in the right spot. Yeah, it should be in this corner, right? Or somewhere, I don't know. Yep. I can't see, I can't see the picture anymore. See how long before somebody moves their, their headlight? I it's might have to do that now, because like I say, I didn't notice it. <laughs> ah, the rivet counting. The rivet counter to begin with. Yeah, well. Oh, that's also... But I don't know how it was back in the day. I have to look at pictures from 70 that I have. Yeah. But it's also, that's the difference between this engine, which and the sells 90. for like seven, a little more than 700 hours versus a 90. That's which true, because that, this is a newer version, that maybe they changed it. Yeah, but that's what I want to look. And this isn't going to be as detailed as the 90 is going to be. No. Because the 90 is a, a, a little higher end quality wise. As and as you notice, I, got my, I brought my switcher here today too. And uh, that's all KD couplers. Everything like Strasburg is that's going to be KD. So, looks good. Yeah, it's it a lot of fun. It's a little dull code, a little really light weathering. <laughs> Very light weathering. Yeah. Because they keep those engines pristine out there. Yeah, they do. So, what else did we have? We had a couple other engines. Let me put this aside. Yeah, Strasburg. I did get more of that big atlas thing. Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, I got it when I'm back here. I wonder what the 28, 26% means on the side. <coughs> 26%? Yeah. Look on the side of the, side of the box. Right there it says 20. There's a they have class of E10A. And then right after under the 9 it says 26%. I don't, don't know. know. I'm sure somebody will tell us. Yep. Tell us, what, what's it mean? What's 26% mean? Other than 26%. Um, this is, yeah, the Atlas auto carriers came out. This, this, we haven't opened one up. We I was amazed it. at how heavy that was. Yeah, we haven't compared it to the uh, Lionel one. The, the Lionel, I believe the door's open, whereas this one doesn't. Yeah, I heard they uh, decided to cl keep the doors closed on this for shipping in that. Yeah, I and mean. glued them shut. I guess in reality, I mean, A, it's probably cheaper to make if it's closed, doesn't operate. Yeah. And how many people actually open the doors? I mean, unless you Mine have, vibrate open as we go around the layout, so. So, I mean, I personally don't care about opening doors because my doors are usually never open because I stick it on the track and run around. But, so now, as far as comparison, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to take one and compare. I actually had a big guy, I mean. I don't think we have an auto, a line of auto carrier. No, nah, not here now. No, I'll have to bring one in. I got one at home too. I have, that. Yeah. I have my MTH. Um, well, you got that, the MTH. I got that, a bunch of line uh, L ones. Is that? It's, it's not a uh, premier. Yeah, it's not a premier. No, that, that is their own Atlas's so own could, line. So we, that, that, so we can compare all three then. Yeah. Yeah, and I even, I even have um, 
they're uh what do you call one the serpentine one oh the articulated oh yeah, yeah you yeah. got the articulated one from atlas mm -hmm. that one was really neat i have to bring them in maybe next time we'll compare them all or of a auto carrier uh episode <laughs> Now for them really nice Alcos. Uh, the Alcos, yeah. These. I've been waiting. Delaware and Hudson. I may be a Pensy guy, but I like this paint You know what? Job. It's like, even though it's mimicked after the Santa Fe, yep. I just like... I, it's a, the Santa Fe, I, got, I mean, I'm not a Santa Fe person at all, but that's what do you call it. Delaware I mean, and Hudson, it looks really nice. It's just nice. like the shark. I wanna, eventually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wish I would have got the sharks when I did. Oh, uh, the got, D&H when yeah. we had them. So we got Pensy in, we got D&H, we got Erie Lackawanna in the black scheme. That's pretty sharp. That's kind of cool. That reminds you of the old Lionel there itself. So does the other one. Um, this one is uh, the uh, United the States Marine, Marine, Marine Corp. Thank now you that all. That Thank was, you for all you served. This was, <coughs> this was basically in commemorative of the 1950s <coughs> catalogs. Okay. And that's why they did the United States Marine one, which I thought was really neat because it's a modern version of an old classic. Do we have a 50s one here? Hmm? Do we have the post-war one? No, I don't have one here. Is that one ever in the case? Hmm? No. I don't have one in the case. We got one at home, but we don't have one here. And the okay. other one we have is... And Absolutely. The cooling Halloween one. We need to hear that one. Yeah, and uh, most of them have. I got. I brought. Yeah, B units. Um, some have the super base. Yeah, they they come with either the powered B unit or you can get the non-powered super, super base one. But I think we need to check this one out. Yeah, these are always fun to. Uh, yeah. The sounds of these are always. It's neat cool. how the back steps are curled. You see that? On every one of these, the back steps are rounded. They're not bent. They're rounded, all from the factory that way. Is the real one like that, or is it just... I don't know, but every one that? of these, if you look at them, they're all designed this way. You know, base of clearance for the coupler. A little extra clearance, maybe, but... Who knows? All right, let's try that thing. Yeah, here. I want to see what this sounds like. Yeah, and they have oper oper uh, operating doors. Should we bring the super bass too? Sure. Yep. Boom. Boom. The end of the line express is boarding now.
I mean, as usual, the, the sounds are, are really cool, Halloween sounds. Yeah, I, yeah. I was disappointed in the bell. The bell, it, yeah. It didn't yeah. have the, the church bell. It had something really... It did a, it did you a, barely it, heard it. It sounded like bones almost. Yeah, but you bar barely yeah, heard it. It was more like a clink, clink, clink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, do, I do prefer the, the uh, church bell that they have in... Yeah, yeah it's that steam water. engine. Yeah, that one had a good bell. <coughs> Yeah, I, but I, but I like the sound effects to it. It has some really neat all right. Sound. Well, let's let's put these all over there now. Nice, it got two powered units. Yeah, they all come with the the two A units, and then you have your option of the B unit. They either a powered A or I mean a power B or a, a super base. All right, now. I gave you that challenge. I, I no, gave you Anthony. Guys a, Anthony gave, Anthony us, gave us the challenge. Yeah. Um, Anthony, our friend Anthony, sent us uh, all three of us one of these a little, little dinghy, and our, their, the, it was basically a challenge. The challenge was to take this boat and do something with it. You had a twenty-five hour spending limit of the boat. Challenge. But I'm giving. I gave you this a second chance. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see how you guys made out. Did you guys get anything done or? Yeah, I got mine. I got mine. Let's see what these guys got. <coughs> ah, nice <laughs> use of the boat, Bill. I I like that. <coughs> kind of added, added to my uh, caboose from the previous yeah, challenge. Yeah, from the previous challenge. I, I, I have, think that's rather nice. I have my fisherman. He's all loaded up. He's got lots of uh, camping gear. Of course, he's got his to uh it's two beer uh i know waltz was under 25 because that was a building that anthony had done yep. for us for my the hobos. layout my hobos and that'll go back up <coughs> on the layout then i the I'm hobos assuming. got a boat see i didn't buy this i already had it <laughs> so i bought the i bought the truck for yep. i think it was nine dollars i the crates and stuff I, and I it's found. a dodge it's a dodge I, i'll give you the it's, fact it's an old it's dodge, dodge. The crates, the crates, I think cost me about eight bucks for the pack of the, the crates. The beer kegs <laughs> I had. Now so. I see a lot of stuff you already had there, some scrap wood. So I, and so I used something, yeah, I, I built the uh, frame, had a uh, evergreen plastic. I built the frame, got some thread, I strapped my Looks pretty good. Boat down. So he's ready to party. On the back of it, it has a, the boat name. See, the boat name is the Antony. The Antony, okay. It's the Antony. And Walter, explain yours. My, just my hobos. Hobos, they found a boat. They're trying to put back in the water. So they can... They can get some fish? Get some fish, get some dinner. And, uh, doing a little TLC on it. They got their generator there and everything in the old shack. And a little review on yours. Yeah, mine was a sunken boat so in a canal. At basically what mine was just sunk in the canal and uh, with a lot of other garbage so what we'll do now is why don't we we'll let you guys decide who wins okay and uh, Anthony you uh, let us know how you feel about all three <laughs> like I say I gave Walt the building to for the layout uh, which we're going to use, but uh, he put it to good use. He did added you, some detail to it. Did you read some of the people, some of the comments last week about about your hobo stuff? No. Yeah, there's quite a few guys in comp and kind of um, um, expanded upon what you were talking about about the hobo <coughs> code and stuff. If you get a chance, go back and read it and what the. Yeah, visit that some more. Talk more about your. Hobo I know. I was. Stuff. I was just thinking about about ten minutes ago. I was like, oh, I forgot to bring, do my hobo codes. But this fits in with your hobo code. So that's this week's hobo. Yeah. Thing. I think like I'm just gonna post a sign on the back. Oh no. <laughs> in the back. That's just do scavenger hunt. Bill here. Get, mm -hmm. get a hobo theme going on, and when you do your scavenger hunt for first Fridays, go go write the a hobo code. Somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right. 
All right, I think we'll call it a night. I, I, what do you call? Here's something yeah. kind of cool. You know, it just shows you, you never know what walks through the door at the store. And there, there's some really neat, sometimes there's really neat things. This is something I thought that I'm snagging up that I thought was really cool. Now, I won't need to get a frame for it, but... From Texaco. It is a, an old, I don't know how old it is, but it basically says, um... Texaco Rail Railroad Lubricants, and it's got all, I mean, it's some, all the old railroads. So this is probably from probably around the 50s, I would have to think. With, with the, with, oh, yeah. With, what railroad it should have a on. date on it, actually, on the back of it. Normally, when they put the wire across, they were 50s, late 60s, or 50s, early yeah, 60s. I don't, I don't see any trademarks, but... Yeah, let's get that frame or a piece of glass. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty yeah I, neat I, I'm, just, I'm just looking at one of the boxes that came. I had a bunch of pictures in it. It's like it's even got redding on there. Yep, yeah, redding. I mean, your Northern Pacific up Northern, top. Northern Pacific. Even got the wall bash, the nickel plate. Um, no other one. One I don't see on here is Virginia. Um, in Boston, and Maine. I mean, it actually has the um, the original Norfolk and Southern. Yeah, well, I guess maybe the other railroads didn't use Texaco lubricant. Well, this is pretty much. Uh, that's pretty much a mall there, man. I don't know which ones aren't missing. I'm just saying by the year, <coughs> but probably because when, where's when the Pensy on there? Yeah, Pensy's down. Down, 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 down the bottom. bottom. You got um, what do you call B &O. Seaboard B and O? Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Boston and Maine, I see there. Yeah, you got Pullman, Illinois <coughs> Central Terminal. I don't know, I'm wondering what this guy is right there. It looks like, it's like. I don't know. There's a couple. Rhode Island. There's a couple railroads on there I'd never seen before. Yeah, that one. This guy right there. Yeah. That one. Um, we'll have to look them up. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah you're right. You never know what's going to come in. Oh, it, has, it has Clinchfield on here. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, like what the heck is the A and S? Maybe that's something we should have the uh, most interesting thing that came in used. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, I, was, I was just thinking that too. It's like the neat things that walk through the door. Yeah. You never know from week to week what comes. Yeah, in yeah. You door. never know what somebody's going to bring in the door. It, 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 it's just like sometimes it's like, you know, how about that time you got to go to your your, Liber your Liberty Bell trolley? You know. Yeah. It's like when somebody brought that in to sell it, I was like, I knew in my mind that's not walking out the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, I don't care what it costs, that's not walking out the door. So, yeah, right, that's cool. We'll have, to, we'll have to try to make a weekly thing, just something of interest that came in used. Yeah. The most interesting used thing for the week or so. Like the railroad bell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got a new railroad bell in the store. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll be mounting that outside soon. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Uh, maybe, maybe, that. maybe instead, now instead of tonight, I'm gonna to have to step step away from the camera instead of tonight of doing the the whistle. whistle you're gonna ring the bell. We're gonna ring the bell. <laughs> Good night, guys. Have a great day. See you later. <laughs>